Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for December the 10th. How many cards fell? Too many. All right, let's go ahead and pick those up and shuffle those in. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy. I did explain in yesterday's video how this deck works because it's a little bit different than some of the other decks. So I do these videos a little different because of that. Um, so if you're confused because this is different than what you're used to seeing, you want to go back to the intro from yesterday's video. Um, ba -bom 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 -bom. But we are going to go ahead and get started here. I am going to pull one card, like I said, for overall energy. And then after that, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll be looking at energy that comes up for each individual sign and combining that with our overall energy to see how that's playing out in everybody's lives. This is a general reading, so it may not apply to every single person. My goal is that it will apply to the majority and also that whatever comes through will be for your highest and best good to hear that. So let's take a peek and let's see what our overall energy shows up as. All right. Overall energy shows up as that side of the page of cups. So I feel like what this is indicating is that there's a situation in the past, not so far distant past, where we have... Um, let somebody know exactly how much we care about them. We've let somebody know about our feelings. And for a lot of us, this is somebody who is in our lives uh, for a very long time. This may be somebody like a parent or a sibling, uh, a really good friend that we've known for a long time, or um, a spouse, a significant other. This could also be a child. So, but, or even, yeah, a, I think I've said a friend that we've known for a really long time. But I do think that we have expressed how we feel to somebody. And um, I think this is someone that we've, you know, it's not a new person, okay? But this is something that has happened in the past. And so next we're going to look at individual energies that tell us more about the situation for each sign. So let's get started. Those cards feel ready to work to me. Aries, you're up first, okay? You guys have the Queen of Cups showing up in reverse along with the Three of Cups. So this tells me that this is somebody that you care about greatly. For most of you, this is going to be somebody who is a friend um, or a tribe member. For a few of you, this possibly could be family. But for most of you, I feel like this is a friendship situation. And I feel like in the past, you let this person know how important they were to you. But I also feel like they may not have responded in a way that made sense to you at the time. And they may not have mm, responded to that in a way that makes sense to you since then. And I feel like you're really wondering, okay, well, I've told them how important they are to me, but how important am I to them? And I think that it's very possible that you could even be having a, a volcanic emotional explosion over this with that Queen of Cups in reverse, that this is something that's kind of chewing away at you and has been chewing away at you for a while. I think you might let that frustration or that confusion out in a very big way today. Very good possibility with that Queen of Cups showing up in reverse. All right, next let's move on to Taurus. So Taurus, what do we have here? In the middle, we have the three of coins showing up in reverse. We also have the three of cups showing up in reverse. So two threes right off the bat. Threes have to do with creativity and balance. Uh, whenever I'm looking at something, um, a three-legged stool never actually like tips or falls where a four-legged stool can a three-legged will not so um, for me three is about balance it's about stability um, it's also known to be about creativity to thinking outside the box so with our um, overall energy card coming up here i do think that there is somebody that you uh, cared about greatly um, not necessarily in the family or in the tribe, but somebody who would be considered a friend, maybe even a colleague, um, for a few of you, the family and tribe, but I think mostly not. And with this 
the way these cards come out, this says that you let that person know how you felt about them, but they were not able to reciprocate. They were not able to say, oh, you know, how much they actually appreciate you as well. And I think that this made you feel really kind of betrayed. I think this was probably um, something that was a little bit of a surprise to you, um, that their reaction was going to be this far off of what, how you felt about them. And I think that what has happened since then is that you guys are no longer collaborating on projects or plans moving forward with any kind of collaboration. So this is interesting because uh, I think the expression that you made towards this person was in the past. And I think that right now is still some of the feelings that need to be processed about this and some of the distance between the two of you. So not really collaborating on anything right now because you're really recovering from, um, I think this kind of feels a little bit like a sucker punch or a slap in the face to receive back from this other person that they are not reciprocating uh, those same feelings. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, oh, let's look at Gemini. What do we have here? Okay. Gemini's. Okay, so in the middle you've got the King of Cups showing up in reverse, and then off to the side you've got the Three of Coins coming up right side up, along with our overall energy over here. Okay, so this is telling me that at one point you did express how you felt to somebody in the past, and this is somebody that you cared about greatly. And I think that you guys have been collaborating on something, whether that's a relationship, a project, a hobby, whatever. You've been working together on something since then. However, I think that you're understanding more about who this person is, the more that you're collaborating with them on whatever this is. And I think that now with this King of Cups in reverse, ugh, you are um, seeing this person in a different light. And I feel like you maybe, it seems to me that you're feeling like the two of you are in a lot less of alignment than what you thought originally. Okay, so your opinion about them has really changed a lot. Next, we're gonna look at Cancer. So Cancer, King of Cups showing up to the side for you and the Two of Swords showing up in the center. This is really interesting. I think that in the past, you expressed how you felt to somebody not really knowing what their reaction would be. And I think that you still hold good feelings for this person, even though they weren't able to reciprocate. And there may be some kind of emotional or mental issue that keeps them from reciprocating those feelings back to you or at least letting you know that they're reciprocal um, and it looks to me like you have decided that you know you're going to love this person anyway you know you're still going to have these feelings for this person anyway whether they can communicate that they have those feelings for you or not or whether they have those feelings for you or not you have made a decision that um, that you're going to allow your love to flow freely regardless of what this other person is doing, that your love does not depend on the other person's reaction to it. All right. Very interesting cancers and you know, very courageous actually. Next up, we're going to look at Leo. Okay, Leos. What is this card? Yeah, I thought so. That's interesting. So your middle card shows up as that side of the death card. And we also have that side of the two of swords in reverse. This is also a that side card. So ba -ba -da -da -da. it looks to me like you did express how you felt to somebody that you cared about greatly in your life at one point. I don't think that they were able to express that back to you. And I think that when that happened, that left you at a situation where 
you really didn't know what to do. That brought a lot of confusion with you as to how you wanted to move forward when it comes to interacting with this person. All right. And I think everything I'm looking at here for you, Leos, is something that happened in the past. So we're looking at what is the lesson that we can take away from this that we can apply today, basically. All right. So with that indecision, it looks like that indecision really brought you to a place where you made some major transformations so that you could move forward. So whenever this person didn't respond or maybe didn't respond in the same way, maybe they even said, I really don't know how I feel about you. That caused you to make some changes going forward to really uh, stretch forward for your own independence to not allow yourself to be hanging on whatever this person would say to you about how they felt about you and it actually became a situation that caused you to create more self-esteem and more self-confidence in your own life because you became less dependent on how this other person felt you, you basically you couldn't afford to depend on how this other person felt because it would not lead to anything good in your life if you would have done that so it allowed you to grow and stretch and become more self-confident and more independent. Big transformation for you. Interesting. We like that. I mean, it's a good result. Might have felt horrible at the time, but it's a good result. And for whatever reason, Spirit is bringing that to your mind today to give you probably a new perspective on this situation that helps you to see other things in a different perspective that are actually going on today, whether those other things are happening with friends of yours or with yourself. All right, let's look at Virgo. Okay, so Virgos, you guys have the Two of Wands showing up this side in reverse, along with the Death card coming up in reverse, uh, once again, this side as well. Okay, so here's the thing. There is something where in the past you had expressed how you felt to somebody um, that you cared about greatly. And I feel like this person was not able to, to reciprocate this. Okay. So I don't know why they weren't able to reciprocate this. Maybe they had a physical condition that didn't allow them to, or a mentally emotional one that didn't allow them to. Maybe they didn't have any of that. Maybe they just weren't feeling that. You guys are going to know how this plays out in each of your lives much better than I will because it's a general reading and it's going to be different for all of you. Now, what we see happening here is that I think that when this happened, this puts you in a situation where now you're kind of coming to grips with the idea that um, whatever this person's response was, this isn't this isn't going to change. You're coming to grips with that idea that this is not something that is going to change. Or if it does change, it's certainly not changing anytime soon. And so now you're kind of faced with, you know, what should I do with this situation? If this person doesn't feel the same way that I do, and that's not changing anytime soon, then I have some options about what I want to do with this situation. You know, do I want to interact more? Do I want to interact less? Do I want to walk away? Do I still want to invest in the situation? So you've got some options here. And it looks to me like, even though you've come to this point of acceptance that that really isn't changing, I don't think you've really decided yet which way you want to go forward. All right. Here's what I can tell you from these cards. The options that you're looking at for this situation None of these are bad options. They're all good options. It's just a matter of picking which direction you want to go. And I think the problem that you're having with picking which direction you want to go has to do with the idea of once you pick a direction and start moving in that direction, that makes whatever this is kind of final. It sort of closes the book or closes the door on this. And it looks to me like you're hesitating to close the door, even though you've hit this point of acceptance. So this is something that, you know, it, it just is going to take 
some more time and some more work emotionally to to really get to that point where you're ready to do that. And it's important not to beat up on yourself because you're not in the same place with your heart as you are with your logic. Allow your heart to catch up. It's okay. Part of what makes us human is that we have feelings. If we were machines, we wouldn't have feelings. We would do everything logically. We're not. So don't beat up on yourself for being human. All right? So that's who. That was Virgo, right? Yes. All right, next up we're looking at Libra. Libra, there you are in your own spread. King of Swords, that side. Along with our overall, right there, that side as well. And that side of the Two of Wands. And everything all right side up for you. Look at that. How often does that happen on one of my spreads? <laughs> Not very. All right, so Libra. I do think that there is a situation in the past where you expressed how much uh, feelings you had for somebody who you felt like was really dear to you. And I feel like somebody you've known for a long time even. And I think that their response to you on that really um, was not something that you were expecting. And their response gave you a choice of how do I want to interact with this person in the future going forward? And so I think that the choice that you chose with this King of Swords in reverse, this is basically, or excuse me, I think this is the Queen, isn't it? Yes, the Queen of Swords in reverse. This just basically says that their response after you thought about what, how, what you wanted to do with this is you just you just looked at this situation logically. You took feelings out of it. And you basically um, decided that it's probably better to spend less time communicating with this person rather than more. Because what you were putting into the interactions was not being matched as far as energy or effort. And so you just felt like that it's the best way to say this, that it would be more productive to put your energy, your effort, even your feelings into something that would actually meet you halfway. All right. And it's a fairly logical decision, you know, which you guys are good at. All right. So that was Libra. Next, we're looking at Scorpio. Okay, Scorpios, Queen of Swords coming up in reverse with this Temperance. Yes, Temperance showing up. I want to make sure. No, I'm going to say this is the Star card. It's just that side of the Star card. Which to me, the Star and Temperance a lot of times have a lot of overlap anyway. Um, let's see. So star card in reverse, queen of swords in reverse, plus the overall energy there. If you didn't catch the overall energy, you may want to go back to the beginning of the video to look at that. But basically what we've got going on, Scorpios, is that we have let somebody know how much we cared about them. And this was something that actually, it happened in the past. And that person did not reciprocate. Okay, and with that Queen of Swords in reverse, we decided that we needed to cut that person off, cut communications with that person. That was what was going to help us to move forward. And with the Star card in reverse, this really says that, really says that we knew that we needed to cut that person off, but we didn't feel, you know, it didn't feel good to do that, number one. And number two, it, we also didn't know if we could actually pull that off, which, you know, for us Scorpios, that's unusual. <laughs> Usually when we get to the point that we realize we need to cut somebody off, it's a done deal. I think here we kind of questioned whether we could actually pull that off. 
Um, we weren't feeling really hopeful about that, even though we knew that we should. And I think also with this star card coming up, um, we didn't really have any hope for uh, any reason that would come up that would really validate the idea of continuing communication with this person. Okay. And so because of, because of that, because this was not a situation that had really any hope of ending well, for one thing, there's a lot of things that's things that there was not a lot of hope around in this situation. And so that's why we felt like, okay, I need to cut this off. And I think that we have actually cut this person off as far as communications at this point in the present point. Okay. Or maybe we're actually doing that today where maybe before we were going back and forth with it, with that star card in reverse, but definitely cutting communications with somebody like that. This can even be like, if you're having like psychic communications with somebody like this, um, this can even be doing something like cutting cords or getting to where you're cutting cords more regularly to get some freedom from whatever it is about this person that is keeping us sort of sucked in, even though um, they're not reciprocating our feelings towards them. Okay, so that was for Scorpios. Yep, next up, let's look at Sagittarius. All right, so Sagittarius, you guys do have the star card showing up right side up. And in the center, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And of course, the overall energy that Knight of Water, Knight of Cups. All right, so Sagittarius. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, so it looks to me like in the past, Sagittarius, you expressed how you felt to somebody who you cared about greatly. However, they were not reciprocating those feelings. And I feel like that kind of puts you a little bit at a loss. Like, I feel like you wanted to nurture that relationship, maybe even nurture, encourage, uplift that person through some of your own creative abilities. And you felt like, but that's not really happening. That's not really something that I can do right now. And so I think you felt, like I said, I think you felt a little bit lost about, you know, if this person is not reciprocating my feelings, uh, you know, I don't know what I can do to actually help them to move forward. And with the star card coming up here, this is telling me that now you're at a point where you are healing up from the situation. You're starting to find some balance again. You're starting to find some objectivity again. You're starting to uh, work with other opportunities that are around you and just generally starting to find healing, especially in your emotions whenever it comes to that situation. Okay, so that's for Sagittarius. Next up, we're going to look at Capricorn. Excuse me while I soothe my throat here a little bit. All right, so Capricorns, you have the Hermit, that side of the Hermit showing up in reverse, this side of the Queen of Wands, right side up, plus our overall energy of the Knight of Cups, that side. All right. This is interesting because what I'm seeing for you, Capricorns, is there's somebody who you cared about greatly that you let them know at some point in the past how much you actually cared about them. However, they were not able to reciprocate. All right. Um, doesn't have to be a romantic situation, uh, but definitely some type of emotional situation, some type of relationship situation. Okay. Just not necessarily romantic. Could be romantic. We're not taking it off the table, but I'm just reminding you all that not all relationships are romantic. But any relationship can show up on the table when we're looking at cards. Now, so you let somebody know how much you cared about them. They were not able to reciprocate. 
and we see you with that hermit in reverse, we see that sort of setting you back. I think you were a little bit surprised by that. So we see you taking some time to go within, to really examine yourself, understand yourself better and figure out, okay, where do I go from here? What do I want to do next? How do I want to approach the things I want to do next? And then coming out into the world and starting to work on those goals, those new priorities that you went in and sort of re-examined for yourself whenever this person was not able to reciprocate. How we see you coming out here, Capricorn, is as somebody who has really got their creative mojo going. Somebody who is self-sufficient, somebody who is abundant, somebody who even is uplifting others with um, the things that they're creative about. So we see you coming out of this very self-sufficient, sort of on top of the world, you know, handling things the way that you want to. This is a very entrepreneurial spirit. You know, this is this is really taking things into your own hands and using your creative um, thinking to bring yourself into a good position, all right? Even a good enough position to be able to help and inspire others as well. Could even be a leadership position that we see you in here. So this looks to me like you've really focused on something else besides this relationship. Um, and that probably has to do with work or hobbies, some type of activity where you've actually put your focus, maybe even some way to earn money. Um, but that has really taken, I think that when you went into your self-examining mode, you kind of came to the point of realizing um, that the... The relationship stuff had been sort of distracting you from other stuff that you wanted to move forward with in your life. Okay, so that's what I've got for you guys. And that was for who? That was for Capricorn. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, what we have showing up here is Hermit card in reverse. And, or excuse me, not in reverse, right side up this time, and the Nine of Wands. So, -doo -doo -doo. overall energy, that Knight of Cups, that side. And the Nine of Wands also is that side. Hermit is this side. So what do we have here? -doo -doo -doo. All right. So, and this is Aquarius, right? Yep. Okay. So Aquarius, I think that you did express how you feel, felt in the past to somebody that you cared about greatly, probably somebody you hadn't known for quite a while. And that person was not able to reciprocate those feelings to you, or at least could not uh, give you some kind of reciprocal expression of those feelings. And so I think that at that point, you kind of went into preparation mode of, okay, um, I need to take some time alone to sort things out and to reset priorities and figure out where I go from here. And so you started making preparations for that. I feel like you already did that by the time we get to today. So this may be that you let other people know, hey, I'm going to just be quiet for a little while. I'm going to go on a retreat or I'm going to do this or do that. Um, I'm Scorpio, so I like to hermitize. So I'll let people know sometimes, hey, I'm going to be hermitizing for this day or for this morning or for whatever. I let people know so that they aren't concerned if I'm not responding to things. But this is what I see here is like you're preparing to take some time to yourself and you may be letting other people know that, hey, this is going to be going down. So don't be alarmed if I'm not responding right away. Okay. Um, and then we do see you actually, I think today you're going to be spending some time really on your own, just focusing on what really makes you tick and what your priorities are and where, where do you want to go from here? This is like looking around and going, okay, I'm at point A. What is point A? What does point A look like? 
and also thinking to yourself, where do I want to go from here? What does point B look like? And how do I want to get there? What are my priorities? What What is my point B that I want to focus on next? And maybe even beyond point B, you might be considering for a lot of you. But really taking the time to set those new priorities and set that new course for yourself. Okay, so that's what I've got for... Who is that? That's for Aquarius. Next, we're going to look at Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, in the center, you do have the Three of Swords, and this is uh, that side of the Three of Swords, and we have this side of the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is really interesting, actually. Um, all right, let's just dive in Pisces. So I do think that you let somebody that you've known for a long time know how you actually felt about them. I think that this happened before today. It's in the past. And I think that also something that happened before is that their response really was heartbreaking for you. It didn't make you feel very good. I'll say that they definitely did not have a reciprocal response okay and that also was in the past like i said today what's going on is there is something that is surprising you about that situation my nine of wands is uh, you know it's this side it's today but he's in reverse that that means not prepared not ready so something's going on around this situation that surprises you and that's happening today so we've already seen what happens in the past. I want to clarify a little bit and find out what are we talking about that's happening today, Pisces, that you find surprising. Because, you know, <laughs> if you're seeing this reading early in the morning, let's take away the surprise. Let's not catch you off guard or blindside you. Let's get you a little bit prepared for whatever the situation might be. And that way you can be thinking about how you might want to handle it when it shows up. Okay, so we're going to use the Lenormand to clarify. So we've got the scythe, we've got the garden, and we've got the anchor. Okay, oh, you can't see the anchor on this, can you? Let's kind of make some space. Make some space. Okay, so the scythe, the garden, and the anchor, this tells me that this is is something that has to do with something that happens suddenly it happens in public and it has to do with work or security and stability so this is interesting you may have said to somebody i would really love to have that job or you may have let somebody know how much you cared about something, probably how much you cared about them. They did not reciprocate. So they could have said, say that you said, said to somebody, okay, I would really like to have this promotion or this job. They could be saying, well, we just don't think you're qualified at all. And so what you're unprepared for is today is that you have some kind of sudden news, sudden public news about a job, work, or security. Okay, security can also come from relationships. I don't think that this would be a proposal, though, because I don't have a ring in the mix. If I had a ring in the mix, that would be different. But the scythe talks about something happening very suddenly. Garden is something in public. That can even be like the Internet is public. So this could even be an email that's public. But it would be something that happens suddenly in a public way having to do with work or security that is taking you by surprise. Okay. So I hope you guys know enough from our interpretation to be sort of prepared for that whenever it shows up. So you know how you're going to respond to that. All right. Don't let ego get in the way is what I'm hearing spirit say. Be practical about this. <laughs> Don't let your ego get in the way. All right, so that was Pisces, right? Yep. Okay, 
So I think we've got everybody today. Thank you guys very much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. You guys are my fantastic, wonderful sponsors. So please remember to hit that thumbs up if you got any goodness out of this video. Share it with somebody else who might find something good in it as well. And of course, put your feedback down below. I always love to read your guys' comments. Everyone have a fantastic day. Peace out.